Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to remove the intake and I'm gonna show you how to take out the head from the block. This is a G16A6. Uh, usually you see this uh, engine from a uh, 881 CRX SI. So this is my spare. And I'm rebuilding this so I can put it on my CRX, which is outside. Let me show you. This is my first time showing you uh, about CRX. So I created this channel just for this vehicle. Uh, this is the sunroof that I did the other day. And this is my hatch for my CRX. And let me show you where's my CRX here. Such a nice day today. So what you need to do, we're gonna take out the valve cover first. We need 10 millimeter. And I wanna take out the intake. Uh, that's 12 millimeter in the back there. Get some bracket you gotta take out, that's 12. So my purpose of this is I'm gonna rebuild we're gonna rebuild this engine so we can put it back in my CRX. Uh used to swap engine but that was on my that's on my younger years. Now I just wanna get it street legal. Cause uh cost money to race and now I have a family and two kids and pretty much you gotta prioritize what you need. Anyways, moving on, so I'm gonna show you how to take out the valve core intake and from there I'll show you how to remove the head. Okay, so it's almost out. Uh, intake, need the pliers. So take out the hose. And we have 10, one, two, three, four, five. 10 head bolts. Five on the bottom, five on top. They're gonna loosen them up. Before you do that, make sure you get a 14 millimeter, loosen the tension so you can slide the belt out. So, you can loosen them out from outside in. I mean, it doesn't really matter since you're not torquing them. You just want to take out the head. Okay, so I just need one more clamp here. I'll make that two, one more over there. And I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna take out the head. Okay, so. We need a ratchet, bigger one, 14 millimeter extension, and a pipe, because it's pretty much high torque in there. So if you're gonna reuse the head bolts, like I will, uh, you could just mark them off so they go to the same spot. But a lot of people recommend replacing them, but it's really up to you. Yeah, it's budget, so I'm gonna reuse them. So this two 10 millimeter bolt that comes for the cover for the uh, backing plate for the timing belt 
make sure you remove them because uh, it's pretty much out. I couldn't get it out because of those plastic covers, vacuum plate. Okay, I got the head removed. Those are the pistons that build up with carbon. And this is the head right here. Head gasket is this one here. Seems like it's got melted. So, a lot of people will send them to the machine shop to get them uh, resurfaced. Which, more likely I will do it because uh, it's in bad shape. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Well, there you have it. The next video, I'm going to show you how to remove the pulley and the pistons.